Are Egypt's pyramids of Giza getting a new contender on the continent? Sudan's mirror pyramids may not seem like it. They certainly don't have the name recognition. But the country is trying to make that change. Its pyramids are smaller in size but outnumber their northern neighbor. Sudan only pulled in around 700,000 tourists in 2018 compared to Egypt's 10 million. A tough visa system and a lack of roads and decent hotels outside the capital have made it an unlikely destination. But since the toppling of veteran ruler Omar al-Bashir, the new civilian transition government is working to ease those visa rules. Simply put, they want more tourists and their money. Chinese tourist Leo was a recent visitor. I'm excited and I feel, yeah, I feel I'm in uh, ancient time. <laughs> it's very fantastic. Nearby temples with ancient drawings have also captured the imagination of tourists like Tania Montero from Portugal. I saw lots of pictures and we were sweeping nearby so I was able to see it during the evening and in the morning. Uh, until now I found the landscape really beautiful and the people are really, really nice, always very welcome. Like the Egyptians, the Nubian Kush dynasty that ruled in the area some 2,500 years ago buried members of the royal family in pyramid tombs. Thanks to funding from Qatar and Germany, visitors to the ancient city of Moreau will soon be able to enter the pyramids and go into the tombs. The Valley of the Kings is an extraordinary place because it's the home of the tombs of the rulers of the great imperial age of ancient Egypt. Since the late 1700s, archaeologists have been scouring every inch of the valley in a quest for knowledge and treasure. Over the years, they've uncovered the underground tombs of at least 20 pharaohs as well as crypts for dozens of royal wives, children, and leading courtiers. Why did the pharaohs of the new kingdom choose to bury their dead deep underground and not in pyramids like the earlier kings of Egypt? Presumably, pharaohs were buried with a lot of material from the beginning of time. And traditionally, they had been buried in these massive great structures, these pyramids, that were, of course, very obvious. The pyramid in particular was a real marker of what was underneath. So if your burial chamber had a pyramid on top, it's saying to robbers, here be jewels. The Valley of the Kings was meant to be the New Kingdom's solution to tomb robbing. So the classic New Kingdom tombs in the Valley of the Kings consist of a series of passageways and descending corridors leading to the burial chamber. That was a, supposed to be a secret, hidden and protected place where he could rest for eternity together with all of his stuff. But just like the pyramids before, it didn't work. Over the millennia, the promise of riches had led to all but Tut's tomb being ransacked. 